I'm not sure if you know, but I love hockey. Oh no, wasn't aware of that. <laughs> Very funny. I love the competitiveness and the camaraderie that hockey offers, not to mention the various adaptations that allows everybody to play. Agreed. Well, Alex Smythe got to explore deaf hockey and meet a couple of friends who are probably just as passionate about hockey as you are. Hockey is a game of teamwork where communication and cooperation is vital. For deaf and hard of hearing players like Sean Mazies of the BC Rockies, who's competing at the Canada Deaf Games in Winnipeg, there may be adaptations to the sport, but the passion remains the same. Hockey's always been around my life and when I was 12 I just decided to start playing ice hockey and have played ever since. I don't wear my hearing aids on the ice, so I really don't hear much. I actually took my oldest daughter out to public skating and kind of pushing her, teaching her how to skate. And I was pushing uh, off with my skates and kept thinking, what's that noise? It's some kind of crunching. And I realized that the skates actually make a really loud crunching sound. It took me uh, 10 years of playing hockey to realize that there actually is a noise to the skate. John's BC Rockies teammate, Scott Vandersloos, whose voice is being overdubbed, is happy that he got involved in the sport of deaf hockey. I grew up playing with hockey. It's amazing. It's an awesome sport. My involvement with the deaf team was back in 1998. I never knew there was a deaf team happening. I grew up playing with a hearing team. And then ever since, I've been playing with a deaf team. There are some adaptations required for deaf hockey including strobe lights that are placed throughout the rink. The strobe lights are there for uh, the players who are deaf and cannot hear the whistle. They kind of help to make sure we don't have players taking late shots or late hits or whatnot. Normally, the goalie usually just puts their hands up knowing when the game is stopped. So some players don't look up, they look down at the puck and just skate into the net. And the goalie's like, the game is stopped. It's funny. We don't really communicate on the ice, but by looking where you're supposed to be, using stick waving around, and then on the bench, we use sign language and talk. And overall, we're all a lot more understanding of being able to repeat words or sentences, just helping each other um, and, and converse with each other. At the end of the day, Sean and Scott want everyone to have the opportunity to play and take part in the experience they've enjoyed for years. We really encourage and invite a lot of players to come out and just try it, have fun. We have some players who have played for a long time and um, they're very supportive and they help coach the new players. We really try and have a fun atmosphere, a learning atmosphere for our players. Um, and sometimes players have uh, difficulty you know, with the cost of equipment, so we try and help out where we can. If they don't, if they don't know how to play hockey, we'll teach them. When they have a chance to play and compete together, they have goals in mind, both on and off the ice. I hope that at least one of the BC teams can win a medal. I hope that some of our newer players who um, are still you know, getting better and learning the game, I hope they can get a goal, just have a lot of fun. Come here, Come here as a team, as a family, and go home happy. Sean and Scott met when they were young, but hockey served as a catalyst for their lasting friendship. He's been a great friend of mine for a long time. I live in Vancouver. Scott lives on Vancouver Island, so we don't get to hang out or spend time with each other that much. So coming to the game here, it's a chance for us to hang out and play some hockey together and have fun. That's one of the things I love about sport is how it brings people together. It's awesome that Scott and Sean were reunited after all of those years through hockey. Absolutely. I also find it really interesting exploring all the different adaptations for deaf hockey and learning how teammates communicate with one another on the ice. Mm -hmm. Well, Scott and Sean came away with the bronze medal at the Canada Deaf Games with their BC Rockies team. They also say that they are looking for new players to join the team and that beginners are always welcome.